On my news video a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that Amazon was going to be rolling out some devices with exclusive offers built in with significant discounts. There are two of these devices right now, the new Moto G and the blue R1 HD, which I have right here. Now for the R1 HD, there's actually two versions of this available. You can get it without the ads, of course, for $99 or $109, and the difference between those two are one has eight gigs of storage and one gig of RAM, one has 16 gigs of storage and two gigs of RAM. But if you put ads on it, the Amazon preloaded ads, they go to $49 and $59 respectively. So I picked up the two gigabytes of RAM version, $60. I'm pretty well okay with that. But as you can see here on the back, here's some of the specs. It has a five inch HD curved display, meaning 720p, 1.3 gigahertz processor. That is a MediaTek 6735 processor. Again, two gigs of RAM, eight megapixel rear facing camera, five megapixel front facing camera with front LED flash a micro SD card slot, 4G LTE, and it does come running Marshmallow. So I know this is not gonna be the absolute best thing there is on the market, but for 60 bucks, it was hard to say no. Let's just see what's inside. So there's the phone and a little piece of paper with all the SIM information on it. What looks like a pretty decent quality micro USB cable. Not hugely long, but it'll get the job done. A pretty generic looking wall wart, which says five volts at one amp output. And then you've got your books and whatnot, your dual SIM installation guide and a quick start guide. Now in terms of the phone, there you have it. Got this little sticker on the front. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. And actually it looks like there's a little sticker on the camera on the back, which we will very quickly remove. Hmm, interesting design, I will say that. You do have that beveled edge to the glass on the front. I think they call that 2.5D front facing five megapixel camera with LED flash, five inch HD display, micro USB here on the bottom, three and a half millimeter on top. Again, rear facing eight megapixel camera, which does have a little bit of a camera hump to it and a rear facing flash, blue branding. Here's your rear facing speaker. You don't see a speaker that looks like that terribly often either. And it's got a little bit of a nub next to it, presumably to make the phone stand up just a little bit so that you get sound instead of nothing when you lay it on a flat surface. And it does look like the back comes off, so we should be able to just pop this off. The battery is not removable, but you can put your SIM in here, SIM in there, and micro SD in there. On the left-hand side, there's not much. On the right-hand side, you've got your volume rocker and your power button. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and just power this on. Looks like a very bright display. And as I was kind of mentioning and alluding to there in the intro, this is one of the first devices Amazon is partnering on. And so it's going to actually come running Amazon ads. So the lock screen is going to have ads on it. There's going to be the occasional pop-up that says, do you want this? Do you want to buy something? Just like Amazon does on their tablets. And there you have it. 8.07 AM is not quite right. We'll go ahead and unlock though go through the setup process. Went ahead and connected it to Wi-Fi. It did not show any of the 5G access points. I will say the vibration motor so far feels a little bit mushy when you're typing, but again, for 60 bucks, you can't really complain too much. It's asking me to restore from devices. I don't wanna do that. Just wanna see the stock. Oh, and then there's an Amazon setup. So this is kind of what's gonna make this device a little bit unique. Continue with your setup, sign into your Amazon account. That way you'll get personalized lock screen offers and ads. Prime members get unlimited access to Prime benefits. You can skip that if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. And actually it's given me the opportunity to sign up for a free Audible trial. I'm not gonna do that right now because I've already used Audible in the past. Love Audible. Maybe I'll put a link to where you can get a free trial down in the description if you're interested. But there you have it. This is the default look and feel of the Blue R1 HD with Amazon stuff built in. So all of this stuff down here is just Amazon stuff. But you can see we've got the Amazon App Store, Amazon Video, Amazon Kindle, Amazon Music, Photos, Audible, Drive. There's an Amazon Drive. Amazon Prime Now, Alexa, IMDB, and Goodreads. Then inside of the actual apps drawer, you see all those same things, plus not a whole lot more, to be honest, not a whole lot more at all. A few of the Google apps, obviously, but that's very, very minimal. And of course, there is a, a little Amazon widget here on the home screen. I'm sure you can take that off if you don't want it though. Yeah, you can just remove that if you don't want it. It's gonna show you just ads, things you might want to buy, things you might be interested in, like a HDMI cable. But let's go ahead and go in here. Check the software versions, so about device. It is running Android version 6.0. Patch level is June 1st, 2016. Let's see if there are any updates while we're in here. It says we're currently up to date, so we're not going to 6.0.1 quite yet. But still, for a device at this price, it's really not bad to consider that it's on Marshmallow. Other than that, again, this all looks fairly stock. You do have the option in here to manage both SIM cards, so if you have two in there, you can use both. This does not appear to have NFC built in. It's a MediaTek device, so I wouldn't really expect that. Under storage, it says we're using 5.12 gigs out of the 16 gigs available. We have 10.88 available. Under battery, we're currently at 63% remaining. It says about three hours left. I went ahead and turned it on up here so you can see the percentage. 
under memory. It's showing 699 megs used out of the total two gigs. And actually in here under the personal section, there's an Amazon specific section as well as a Google section. The Google section has info about signing in and ads and app management. And Amazon, of course, allows you to manage your Amazon account through here. Let's take a look at the cameras while we're in here. So the camera interface looks pretty standard. Go ahead and hit the button up here. Touch shutter, smile shot, shutter sound. I'm gonna turn that off because I just don't like it. GPS location, zero shutter delay. Video quality is currently set to medium, which is 480p. You can also take it to high, which is 720p, and fine, which is 1080p. Picture size is six megs. You can also make it eight megs, which is four by three. Anti-flicker, you can change that. We'll flip it around to the front and just check those settings as well. Right now we're on video quality 1080p. So it does 1080p on the front and the rear. Front mirror, you can turn it on or off if you want it to face one way or the other. Zero shutter delay, all the same sort of features as front and back. Let's do a couple of quick video samples using the front and back. So here's what video and audio sound like coming from the rear facing camera of the Blue R1 HD in pretty decent lighting. Maybe we'll take it outside here in a minute and try that too. And here's what video and audio are like from the front facing camera of the Blue R1 HD. Looking at it in pretty decent lighting, it's not the best that I've ever seen. The uh, refresh rate, the shutter speed actually looks to be pretty decent, but again, we're in pretty decently bright light here. Not bad though. I mean, for a front-facing camera on a $60 phone, hard to complain. It's a little bit of video in my dimly lit garage, just for a bit of comparison. Doesn't look amazing, but still, 60 bucks. And here's what video outdoors in sort of evening sunlight looks like. Sun's not down yet. Looks okay from here. Just sort of tap to refocus there, tap to change the exposure. And again, the front-facing camera outdoors in evening sunlight sort of coming down at this angle. Turn around so you can, there we go. We're directly facing into it. Very bright. And some more dimly lit video. You can very clearly read where it says paint supplies. And you can see the, the shutter speed here is not bad at all. Doesn't look too jumpy. Read the word plumbing there. I don't know. Again, for 60 bucks, it's really hard to complain too much. And then I think the other thing to show here is the one thing that really makes this sort of unique is the Amazon ads. So when we go ahead and lock it and bring it back up, you see here it has an ad for the Amazon Echo. We can swipe away from it though. It's not really hurting anything. If you do want to buy an Echo, you can always click the learn more button to get more info about it and maybe even purchase one. And I'm sure those ads are going to change over time for whatever Amazon chooses to promote. As you can see here, it did already change to Amazon Original Series Catastrophe. You can go ahead and watch it now. If you have Prime, of course, and you're using this, you have to have Prime to get it at the discount anyway. But yeah, the lock screen ad is just gonna change every so often. Probably gonna be something Amazon specific every time. That's fine by me. I'm gonna go ahead and mention it here. There probably are ways to go ahead and disable those lock screen ads. So if you're a Prime user and you would like a device that's halfway decent with a decent amount of RAM for 60 bucks, you could probably do away with the Amazon specific stuff if you just don't want it. I'm not gonna say how, but you can Google it. But yeah, so far, I'm liking the build quality. I'm liking how performant it seems to be. There's not been any sluggishness or anything so far. Not that I've really taxed it. The camera doesn't look bad. Again, for 60 bucks, this is not a bad camera. And I didn't even really get into this part. Inside the camera, there's a section with professional mode, so you can actually control everything manually. Manual controls in a $60 phone. There's HDR, there's dual view, so you can get front and rear facing. Night mode, panorama, there, there's a ton of options in here. So really for the price, I'm gonna say that this is a steal and I'm gonna put a link to where you can find it down in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. Would I use this as a daily driver? I might use it as one for a little while. I would not use it long term, but for a backup device, for a device for kids or for seniors or something, 60 bucks, you cannot easily beat that. So that's gonna be all for me for today. If you'd like to see more about this, let me know. Maybe I can do some dedicated camera samples or something. Subscribe to receive more videos when they become available. Leave a thumbs up down below if you like this video, and I will see you again next time.